What's up everybody, Bryce and Michael here, and I had a, somebody ask me a question on how to get to the simulator. Uh, DJI Phantom 3, the Phantom 4, the Mavics, and all that different stuff. DJI pro provides a simulator in their thing to give you some drone practice and things like that, and you can just fly around the drone and stuff. Uh, in one of my videos where I'm using the simulator, I was asked how you get to the simulator. So I'm just showing you guys how to do it. Uh, make sure that your drone is on and your transmitter is on and then open up your app like this. Now you need to go up here to the top. You can see it's got uh, this little triangular looking thing and then the DJI logo and then the three bars over at the side. So you go and hit the three bars at the side. Uh, down here there's this, this little spot that says tutorial. When your tutorial pops up, you can see right there, it says simulator. You just pop on the simulator. And then just wait for it to uh, open up. It's very easy. I know it's hidden. Some people think it's, it's, uh, it's hidden. Uh, in fact, when I was trying to explain it back, I haven't been in the simulator for a long time. Uh, when I was trying to explain it back, I, I was actually going along the bottom. Uh, but I had to open it up and kind of refresh my memory on how to open up the simulator but that's that's how you do it there's a the the drone right there make sure that your props are off of your drone just in case anything happens but what you should be able to do is uh see i want to the home point has start been up the, take start off. the drone i'll take it up into the air and my drone's sitting right next to me it's the the motors aren't spinning or anything so just make sure, just in case anything happens, it's always better just to uh, make sure that your props are off. That way your drone doesn't just randomly take off on you in case anything's messed up or anything like that. So, uh, In the simulator, you can also, there's the drone here, but once you fly you know, too far away, let's go ahead and take it on out and get it away. This, this is your point of view here. Once it gets a certain distance away, you can't see it anymore. And this is actually wrong because, see, I, I can't see it right now and it's only at 300 feet. But in real life, you can see it at 300 feet. In fact, you can see it fairly good at 300 feet. But, you know, that's the bad part about the simulator. You can change the perspective down here. And you can stay on the drone the whole time. Or you can see this is, uh... This is through what you're going to be seeing on your app when you're flying. So, ooh, this thing's touchy. I'm trying to bring it back. Let's just go ahead and go forward and down. So this is what you'll see through your app. So if you want to fly FPV, uh, this is how you want to practice right here. And you can test out all your all your stuff, your record and and all that stuff. In fact, I'm going to hit the record real quick and let it record for just a second, just to see if it records the simulator, because I haven't actually checked that out. I don't know anybody who has tried to hit record. In fact, let's, uh, let's stop that, and let's uh, try to take a picture real quick. And we'll see if that records the simulator or not. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's change perspective one more time. It shows it way out here again. So there's three perspectives that you can have. Point of view, uh, you can be right on top of the drone, or you can uh, look through the the uh, FPV. So, Anyways, hopefully this has been some help for some of you guys that might be struggling to uh, find the simulator. I know one person couldn't find it. And I don't know how many people, I think people just assume that you know how to get on the simulator. Uh, so nobody, I don't, I don't think too many people have probably made a, a video on how to actually get on the simulator themselves. I know some of us use the simulator to show certain things, like the kill switch. Uh, in case you haven't seen the kill switch yet, watch it and bring it up. If you take, uh, if you take your left one all the way down, it'll slowly come down. That normally turns off your props when it gets on the ground. Uh, you can take your thing all the way down. But let's the put home these point down in the middle of the and put it back up in the air. Now if you're up in the air and you put both of your sticks down to the center, it shuts your drone off and your drone falls to the ground. 
So, I mean, we, we use the, uh, obviously we don't want to put the drone up in the air, you know, an expensive drone and crash it. I, I've seen somebody make a video where they actually did that, um, just to show you in real life. And I think that that's quite silly, but, uh, for things like that, you can use a simulator on and, and stuff. So, and if you want to get your practice in and stuff, it doesn't really have the same feel. You get to get the feel of your transmitter, and you get the feel of the up and down and, and the directions and things like that. But it's a little bit more touchy than in real life, I think. I think the drone with wind resistance and with uh, not only the wind resistance, but also the resistance of gravity and things like that, I think it moves a little different. And so uh, get your directions and get used to the, the uh, transmitter itself and, and how, this, how the sticks work and stuff. Uh, but ultimately, you're going to want to take your drone in the air to get an actual feel for your drone and stuff. Uh, so, anyways, this is Bryce and Michael RC. If you if you didn't know that, hopefully this has been some help. Um, we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.